I'm from Arlington, Texas. I grew up here, in fact, in this house. And um, I am a mom now, so I have three kids. They are 12, 10, and eight. And, and I'm very involved with them. I work a lot, but they, um, I luckily have a very flexible job. I work with my family, and so we, I can, um, you know, go to all of their events and get them to all of their activities. So, but we're, we're busy. I knew that she had blood pressure issues, but it never really affected me much just because she's Lissa and she always took care of herself. And she always encouraged me to work out and encouraged me to eat healthy and made sure that I was always doing the best I could. So I've been taking medicine for my blood pressure for 10 years, but never faithfully, ever, um, because I never really felt bad. So, you know, if I wasn't feeling bad, why take the medicine? Neither her dad nor I uh, have that in our, even in our families. And um, so that was kind of a, that was kind of a, a, a surprise to me. Uh, I went to a friend of mine's house to actually get these bunk beds that she was selling to me for my little boy. And we got there, I met my husband there to move the furniture. And um, I never even picked up a piece of furniture. I walked into her house, which I'd been a thousand times, and um, my I had this weird weight on my shoulders. Um, felt like an adult was like sitting on my shoulders. It was a lot of pressure. And then my jaw started to hurt. It was a Sunday afternoon about four o'clock and JT called me, her husband. And he said, um, I need you to come over and keep the kids. I'm fixing to take Alyssa to the hospital. And I knew right away, uh, but I didn't want to believe it, that the symptoms that she was uh, showing and feeling um, was a heart attack. We went to uh, Texas Health Arlington Memorial Hospital uh, to the emergency room, which was a little ironic because um, I was actually born there and I had three babies there. And said, um, we are fixing to go and have an angiogram. And I knew what an angiogram was, so I was really worried at that point. Did the, did the angiogram and found out that I needed two stents. They said it could have happened due to stress, hormones, um, the fact that I had worked out really hard that week, I could have died, you know? And I have three babies. So I have to be, I have to take care of me, so. You can go through all the training and, and deal with and handle and help others. Um, but when it comes, when it comes to your own family, it's hard to believe. That's been hard and I don't want to scare them anymore. Um, I want them to know that I'm okay and that I'm going to be okay. They're old enough to know that definitely something scary happened. Just just really trying to wrap my head around what would life be like without her and because she has just made her mark with so many people and um, that, that scared me. Whatever the doctor says we need to do, we need to do. You know, it doesn't matter how many pills you have to take or how much exercise you have to do or what you have to eat, we're going to take care of you. And so that was my mindset for the next, and it still is, <laughs> take care of my sister. It, this is not something that is gonna happen to every 39 or 40 year old woman because they're stressed and because they have three kids. Um, but it, it happened to me and I had a heart attack. So um, that's real. You need to take care of yourself. You need to listen to your body. You need to be prepared. You need to know the warning signs, and you need to know that there's experts in uh, American Heart Association out there to, to provide the awareness and the, the options and the information and the training and all the professional network that you need, so you're not alone. Thank you very much to the American Heart Association and the Go Red for Women movement for allowing uh, me and my family to uh, share my story with, with y'all today and to hopefully build some awareness for women.